When you first start using Twitter, you're probably fine with the web-based application. Everything just stacks up here. The tweets as they come in, they just top load and go down from there. You can look at your at replies, you can look at your direct messages, and you can look at your favorites. You can see your following and your followers and the number of updates right there. But once you get over 50 or 100 people, you might get a little frustrated with this and want to organize things a little bit better. And that's where TweetDeck comes in. Now looking at this, you might see it a little bit different than the way it looks when you first download and install it. The default application is a black background with white text and I find that kind of tiring on my eyes. So if you'd like to change your view, you can go up here to Settings and Colors Fonts. And then you can click on all of these things, click right over here, and you'll have the whole color palette come up and you can choose something that's comfortable for you. If you like my color scheme, just at me and I'm happy to tweet it over to you, no problem. While we're in here, let's look at a few other things. The general settings. Another thing that you might want to do pretty quickly is get rid of the notification sound every single time a tweet comes in. That might get annoying pretty quickly. Also, a notification window. This pops up every single time a new tweet comes in, and that happens pretty frequently the more people that you start following. I like the narrow columns view because this monitor right here that I look at is in a wide screen, so this gives me more of my columns on the screen at the same time. It's up to you whether you want to hide previously loaded tweets after restart. I don't think that there's any harm in having them come up. They eventually purge. Um, as you can see down here, I have the maximum number of tweets of a column at 500. You can set that to whatever you're comfortable with. I like this one a lot, Open Profiles and Web Page. It saves on your API calls. I used the autocomplete for a little while, but it frustrated me because it thinks it's a little bit more intuitive than I am, but it's up to you. You can give it a try for a while. It's just as easy to click it off. Auto include hashtags when replying. This is very handy because when you're replying to someone who's using a hashtag, that way you don't have to retype it in yourself. And I like to show preview information for short URLs so that I know where I'm going. TweetDeck is a very efficient way of managing your Twitter experience. Give it a try. It's fun.